Probably the thing that I learned the most is communication. Everyone has a different definition of it. It's used in so many different ways, so it's always good to have a session to build leadership skills on communication because you can always refund that. Having the opportunity to hear from various leaders, uh, many of whom I've studied or I've read their works and have them here on our campus, and having the opportunity to interact with them was very rewarding. Being able to sit in the room with all those folks from different areas and aspects of the college kind of lets you see or, or at least take time to consider what, what you're doing and how it impacts uh, not just students, which we're all trying to impact, but really the others in the college and their initiatives. I think that's probably the biggest thing. I thought the President's panel was just great. It was very nice to see several uh, high-ranking individuals in their community colleges, how they got to where they were, and learn from them. Uh, I also enjoyed the Courage to Lead that Dr. Cameron presented later on in the session. I thought that was a very good program and actually institute that in my classroom. The second thing I liked was the project because it did provide an opportunity for networking not only among members of the cohort group but also uh, among uh, campus colleagues uh, across the campus. I really enjoyed hearing everybody's stories about where they came from and, and understanding that the, the picture that we see when we look at somebody who now has a PhD or who's been with TBR for 10 years or all these different scenarios, they didn't start there. That's just where they are right now and, and they have this whole journey that they've completed. Well, the specific example that I can think of is that after taking this program, uh, it helped me uh, reflect on what is required in a job, like uh, in a class setting, we deal with the students, and students have uh, different motivations, so we have to kind of find that uh, motivation for each student and help them achieve their uh, you know, desired goals. Realize from being in a, in a setting like that that people come from many different places, not only those in the class, but those leaders that, that came and presented their, their content areas to us, but their leadership skills to us as well. I think understanding that they were where we were before. Uh, you hear this, the idea of a natural born leader all the time, but, but learning it and understanding strategies and skills that you can, can develop. Uh, I think the confidence that brought me was probably what it's, it's done for me more than anything. After the very first seminar, I got to thinking, wait a second, I, I really could be a college president. I could do this if that's what I wanted to do. So, so on, a, on a personal note, understanding that I, I have the potential and that with experience and training and mentoring by other people that I could do whatever I want to do. One of my favorite speakers was uh, Dr. Reading, and she did a whole day on communication. For me, it was very gratifying. At the end of my spring semester, last semester, I had a student um, come up to me and say, you know, you really hear me. And I was like, oh, that's a word from Dr. Reading. She goes, you really get me. Not all teachers take the time to listen and really hear me. The uh, grant development uh, office developed out of uh, this project. Our overall goal was to simplify the uh, grant pre-approval process. Overall, grants are very important to uh, a college or university because as we know, the funding that comes from the state is declining on, a, on an annual basis. And if we're going to develop new programs and or enhance existing programs, then it's very, very important that we seek external funding. For me, the, one of the biggest things about this whole program is just the opportunity. As a faculty member, I wouldn't normally have direct access to the president to be able to share an idea that I'm passionate about. And through this program, I've been able to um, bring forth the ideas about we need to be more, you know, a little more involved with diversity. What can we do to improve our diversity here? I think that that will change 
if we're able to, to get through this process and have that happen here, that'll change our school phenomenally, to be able to have a more diverse um, community college for our students, for faculty and staff, and for our community. And so I think that also ties into the Complete College Act because I think that you know, students will want to, um, if you feel more at home, then you're liable to stay and complete and go on. And so that's just the whole idea, is to help improve and to help make everyone feel at home in Northeast State.